Hello everybody once again to Let's Play Morrowind with me, Varex and Karish. So, uh, Marvelous Adventure last week, lots of productivity, some progress in the main quest for a change. We also have unlocked the Bad People quest as well, so we go and see Barrow about that. It is currently 4pm, uh, so I reckon what we'll do is, it's a cold, horrible day outside, uh, we're going to go get our usual place at the inn. We're going to um, restore some, you know, gather some supplies and all that kind of thing. We're not doing too badly, but we can do with a couple more. And um, we'll pop up to the fort, we'll restore our magicka, but um, we'll probably pop in to the Fighters Guild tomorrow, uh, you know, in, in game time, and talk to Shan. But uh, yeah, long day, busy day, so. We'll get a proper good night's sleep tonight, and uh, then sort everything out tomorrow. Hi, Jojo. I don't know why you keep wandering around. I suppose, you know, you'll be... Actually, it, it's quite reasonable that... Uh, <laughs> I hope this works. There's nowhere else to stay, is there? Maybe there is. Maybe at the actual bad people place there is a place to stay. No, I don't think there is. Speak, traveller. Come on, be nice. Alright, fine, well we'll just make it up that we can. So we'll drop we'll drop ten gold and wait, because resting's not gonna do anything for us gameplay wise. Um There you go. <laughs> really take my money. Also, you'll still battle with me though, won't you? Which uh is odd, but yeah. Uh so we'll take some hound meat and some bread and a muffin of course. Um That'll cost a whole five gold for all that. That's not too bad, is it? Rounds up to five, obviously. Um, so we'll have some rush and have a potion of shadow and stuff. Fair enough. Um, hmm. Yeah, some of that. And we'll just wait in here until the next morning. Which is in about, what, 15 hours? Yeah, that'll be right. So an early start. Something up. I will listen out, Panda, but make it quick. Come on, get outside. <laughs> As you will tip my money, damn it. Whether you like it or not. I know it's just a bug and it'll fix itself, but that's just the easiest way to get around it. So still a bit of an icky day today. Um So first thing is the Mage's Guild. We'll go and do that. Well we'll have about before we leave the inn, we'll have a bite to eat. We've also, um, we've also had the blah, blah, blah. read that now in the Let's Discuss video, so I can sell that to the bookstore, which is not open yet. Which it wouldn't be at seven o'clock in the morning, would it? Really, bit of an early start. But the Guild of Fighters is open. But we don't need to be here. We need to be in this one, are we? <laughs> okay, third time looking. There we go. What is this about? I'm here to see Shan, she's down at the bottom. Okay, thank you very much. Hmm, okay. Might pop in and see Jahira as well. And um, buy some potions off her. Oh, there she is, there's Shan. No, no interruptions. How many times? Oh, oh, you're one of Caius's associates. That's a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of arrangement if you will complete a little errand for me. Straight to business, eh? Well, it's an orc. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Levule and Rano. Uh, to f to f uh, you'll find it in the ancestral tomb. Ooh, but take care not to upset the natives. Uh, the Dunmer have some particularly primitive prejudices against necromancer. Necroman uh, against necromancy and, hit, uh, and take great objections to unauthorized tomb visits. Do they? I mean, they don't really, though, do they? You can visit every single tomb and loot everything from every tomb ever, and the Dunmer will not mind. But never mind. Uh, so necromancy is legi a little bit a legitimate a discipline where I can really speak. Though body and spirit uh, are protected property, and may be used without permission uh, of the owner. But in Morrowind, um, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. It's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer uh, summon their own dead to guard tombs to defend the family. Yeah, that's what 
Karish does. Um, sacred necromancy uh, is righteous, while a philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition, and that's all. No, of course, I can't teach you spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not. Not a necromancer. Oh, interesting. I wonder. Oh, you know what? I can't think of any decent jokes. I don't have any, um... Or non-decent jokes, even. I, um... Don't have any magic or anyway, so... But I do possibly have some... Oh, you don't have any crappy potions. Never mind, then. I actually, I actually really want these potions down here. Um, the irony. All right, we'll pop to the fort to restore our magicka and um, have a word with uh, Varro. And I think that the, the bad people quest is I'm listening. gonna be really tricky. Oh, it's brightened up. And are you ready for it? The view! Oh, it doesn't really work down here. Oh, you can sort of see Arkham Place. We're going to walk towards it anyway, so I don't know why I went that way. But um, Yeah, we saw this on the Let's Discuss video once. Absolutely beautiful, but you need to be higher up, so the... Uh, maybe a little bit earlier as well. But didn't that just change? Didn't the weather just change there in... in that very small amount of time. There you go, it's open. Oh, we can sell the book. But you need to be higher up so that the silhouette of the um, the ruin is uh, you know, before the sun. But yeah, you can see that on the uh, Let's Discuss video anyway. If you want to go and see it and you haven't already, it's very, very pretty. Uh, the book seller, the book seller, the book seller. I have a book for you. Check that I have actually read it in this version of saves. Okay, I have. It's another point of speechcraft, I think. We're actually quite well, so eleven. <laughs> Consider it was five when we started. Hello, have a book. Have a book, ma'am. Um, that was about do I think wanted. What is this? It's a letter, so I wouldn't sell it here anyway, would I? But uh, bump it up to sixty. Yeah, because we're friends. Good. So this little route to the fort is uh, well known by Carriage now. He says, trying to find the <laughs> exits of the city. Uh, it's just the, the, the route taken out this whole sort of market square and replaced it with a bunch of buildings, which I have no objection to at all because the market square... Well, it didn't have a market in it, did it? A bunch of stalls around the outside, I suppose, and that was about it, so... Yeah, no bothers there. No bothers at all. It's hard to tell where the sun is, because it's so... It's bright, but it's hidden by clouds, so its outline is obscured. There it is. That big... Big yellow ball up there. Well, this is a great view. I'll, I'll, never, I'll never get bored of this. Approach the Arkham place with the... Uh, fort under it. Uh, it just looks great, doesn't it? It just looks great. Let's uh, take a couple of screenshots of this just so I can get that out of the way. So, this should be quite, again, quite a um, productive day, Karish. He's well rested and everything, and he's got a couple of leads, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be. There we go. Have we got our... Uh, yeah, okay, we do. We've got our travelling gear on, so that makes sense. Come on, I haven't got all day. Charming. So he's down here. I thought he'd be in some grander armor. You couldn't sort of walk right past him, wouldn't you? He looks like every other guard ever. Not that I can find an example of that right now. You'd think it'd be him. But he doesn't do anything as far as I can tell. It's this dude. Uh, is this about that work I mentioned? 
Okay, through various channels, I've learned a bit about your situation. I'd like to tell... Okay, so he knows we're working for the Emperor and stuff, and we're a blade and all that sort of stuff. Also, through the various channels, I suppose this kind of makes sense because um, we've just done the quest for Asphat, and so word we kind of get around certain channels, like it said. So, I'd like to tell you a little story. When I'm done, uh, you can ask me some questions, and then maybe you might decide to go out and do some things. You might, and you might not. That's your affair. I also want to tell you about a nice present I think the Emperor wants you to have. I'm not sure where it is, but maybe you'll want to check back and see if I later, let's see if I found it later after you've done some things. So what's the little story? Once upon a time, there was a bad magistrate who took gold from criminal organizations to reduce the sentences and fines for criminals. Everybody knew he was doing this, but nobody could prove it. Because even if it could be proved, the bad magistrate had important friends and proof was not as powerful as important friends. At the same time, there was a good officer who enforced the laws because he thought laws made uh, people happy and safe. And it bothered the good officer that enforcing the laws did no good because the bad magistrate let the criminals go as quick uh, as the officer caught them. For a long time, the good officer sighed and said, what can I do? Because the bad magistrate has important friends and nothing I can do will touch him. But then the good officer said, say, wait a minute, what about the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate? They haven't got important friends and if uh, they are around, the bad magistrate can't get any more bribes. And even better, the good officer suspected that the bad people, the bad, the bad, bad magistrate, were probably criminals themselves. So the good officer decided it would be good if the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate would go away forever. So the good officer made a special prayer that there would be a little bloodbath to wash the bad people away. There, isn't that a nice little story? Maybe not a perfect story because it ends with a prayer and not a bloodbath. But maybe the story isn't over yet. What about these bad people? Oh, the bad people are the commoner tongue. I thought everyone knew that. They're a criminal organization. Unfortunately, I don't know who the commoner tongue are. No one will tell me because I'm an officer. And that is against the code to tell the officers things. But people in the Thieves Guild hate the commoner tongue. And I bet if you ask the Thieves Guild, then they would cheerly, uh, cheerfully tell you the, the bad people, who the bad people are and where to find them. But I warn you, these bad people are very tough. Tougher than you, I'm afraid. Oh, well, that's true. Um... What about the blood path then? Uh, the bad people in my story have five members of the commoner tongue, and they are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith. And they are in Balmora. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know their names, but maybe you can find their names and where they uh, and where to find them. And then maybe my story could have a, a happy ending with a little blood bath instead of a little prayer. And more importantly. What is the nice present from the Emperor? I'm sure I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a surprise. And as I said, I'm not sure where it is, but I might find it uh, any time. So check back and see if I found it later after you've done some work. What about the Thieves Guild? In the Empire, the Thieves Guild is old and powerful. Uh, but here in the M in Morrowind, the Thieves Guild is young and weak. The old and powerful criminal guild of, of, uh, of Morrowind is the Commoner Tongue. The Commoner Tongue doesn't like the Thieves Guild a lot, and the feeling is mutual. So we can't find out where the Thieves Guild is. So I'm not sure if Karish already knows or not. I'll have to look that up. T, maybe? Thieves Guild. Yeah, so we don't actually know where the Thieves Guild is. In character. I know where to find it. Don't you tell me where to find it. I know where Sugar Lips is. I know I, I can I can find it. Thank you very much. But Karish doesn't know where it is because he's not much of a thief. And uh, he has had made no efforts in finding them. But yeah. Oh, also, the thing that we mostly came for. You thought I was going to forget, didn't you? You thought I was going to forget. Well, more fool you, everybody, because I remembered. I remembered. And I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Well, this door is open, so it's probably down here. Although this is the cells, isn't it? It's the cells. Where is the shrine? Stop. No, it's across here, isn't it? Will you get out of the way? What an I awkward place to stand. How very, very awkward it's in here, isn't it? Da 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 da. Hello. Yes, I would. Lovely. Hello. Uh, no, thank you. But you've got spells. Let's have a little look. Maybe we'll have a little, uh, maybe not. <laughs> We're all 45 spells. 
and resistances and reflect and absorb fatigue, which I've already got and I keep forgetting about and all this stuff and yada yada yada. So yeah, you don't have anything for us. Well. So, I mean, we can ask around for this, but did I even ask where that tomb was? I might have to go back to Sean and ask. Because I don't know where it is. Well, I know where it is. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. We've got to go back to Marmora anyway. Let's get this over. Um, although, I don't know where that... Oh, I don't know. I'm confused, man. Confused. A little bit confused. Not a lot, but a little bit. But yeah, I think I forgot to ask where the tomb actually was. And once again, I, I, I know it's kind of near... Um, Pelagia Gaiad. But we'll head back anyway. So this is this is slightly in um, in efficient, but uh, does that really matter? You know, it's fine. We're still questing. We're still going around, doing nothing. Back to Balmora, training our athletics. Of course, you know, there is no action that is wasted in Morrowind. It always trains something. Even this. <laughs> Even though it was a slight anticlimax, I thought it. Yay! Whee! Wow! I think the only way Karish is going to increase his strength. And there goes Karish. Ah! It moved! It twitched! I don't like it! His carrying capacity is by increasing his strength, and that is only going to be doing by jumping around a bit. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm doing for no reason. He'd get stronger anyway just by being out in the world. And I know that sort of increases athletics, but you know what I mean. Okay, there's a person. Let's talk to them. Maybe this trade house has some information on the Thieves Guild. Maybe I'm just supposed to know where the Thieves Guild is. Thieves Guild. Thieves Guild, you're going to tell uh, but you don't know where they are. I wonder if you can find out, like, properly. I know there's a woman near, um... What's that going to help, though? It's in a different town. Um, hmm. Hello. Okay, you don't have beds. Bad people. Bad people? What do you mean? They're coming a tongue? I don't know about that. I understand? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to know about that. None of my business. Uh... I stay out of the council club. Oh, really? <laughs> the Bamara Council Club. Interesting. Do you know about the Thieves Guild at all? I might just head over to uh, the South Wall Corner Club, you know, and just seem just happen to ask in there. Although she's just told me something there, hasn't she? But I don't want to mess up the the quest and the you know the way that the quest log works by just bumbling in here because this is where they are. Not there, but this is something else. Let's have a look. It's a lucky lockup. Uh, uh. it's, it's a bit of a dive, isn't it? You can tell. Is there even a like a, a bar or something? There's, there's Juju. Of course there's Juju. Hello, Juju. Who are you? Uh, you're a bit of a that publican of lid lockup here in Barbara. I want breads. Okay, you rent beds. No, because the other place is nicer. But if I need another place to stay, this is it. And it's kind of nice how it's right across from the silt stride as well. It makes perfect sense. A good place to put a um, an inn. These people tired from being on the silt strider. I would pick that up, but um, you might accuse me of stealing and stuff. <laughs> Hello. Your new face. What can I tell you about Balmora? I like to swap the latest rumours when something do you see uh, there's something juicy enough to gossip about. Or maybe like a little secret. Uh, maybe I have one to trade. Alright, so look. Yep, we know that. Talk to everyone, talk is cheap. Yep. Uh well bad people. You stay out the con you, you lurk around it all day, but you stay out of it.
we have to go we, before I freaking forget. We have to go and ask about this tomb. If, if, if he doesn't tell you where it is, how are you supposed to? Is it on your map? Don't tell me it's on my map. It's not on the map. It's a bit small to be on my map. Between here, it's, it's, it's in that area. So it's, it's. We might even have like seen the entrance. I think I'm pretty sure we have already seen the entrance to that tomb. Sean, I forgot to ask you something, and I'm gonna feel really awkward bumbling in after like two hours of passing. Like, oh, by the way, you know, you know, you sent me to that shrine, to that tomb. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> you forgot to tell me. Karish did not forget to ask. You forgot to tell me. Yeah, this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> The tomb is south of Pelagaya Jihad, just off the road. Before you reach the fork, uh, where the road goes southwest towards Saint Nin and southeast to Vivek, you may need to in, uh, an enchanted blade. No, I don't do, I don't do, the whole blade thing. Um, some spirits are immune to no weapons. Here, take this old short sword, and maybe these scrolls will come in handy. Scorcher and Vitality scrolls. There's a fire blade there, which I'll sell instantly. Ah, that's a bit of gold. Um, yeah, so we got uh, da, 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 fire damage, untouch, oh, untouch, and restore health scrolls. We don't need those, of course. We have the uh, the amulet. I might just sell these scrolls right away, you know, to this lady up here. Not the fire damage, but the other ones, because it's just something that I will keep in my inventory forever, um, just in case. But I've got an amulet that heals me, and I can't see myself running out of charges of that. And if I do, that's a good excuse to cast soul trap and get some um, gems. So, okay, and, and you know, do 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 my uh, enchanting thing. So, step right up, Karish, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Taldem Scorcher to burn your foes? Cheap. Or, uh, Odyssey's unhinging to open stuck chests and doors. If you're going somewhere dangerous, try some scrolls of vitality and vigor to restore your health and fatigue. I'm just, I've got the full set there. If you're in real trouble, you'll want this Asumi uh, intervention and divine intervention transport to instantly uh, to the nearest temple or nearest imperial shrine. Okay, cool. Uh, well, now I know what each of those do. Bad people. Thieves guild. Okay. Um, Barter. I have some stuff for you, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that's expensive. Um, I don't want that. That is beneath us. And the engine is good. Although, yeah, it is. It's, it's worth keeping. And we'll sell them as well. Okay. And. See, so what do I have? I've got this intervention, that intervention. Okay. And, yeah, okay. So we've got, we've got a decent selection here. Now, I'm thinking my, buying some uh, gems is probably a decent idea at this juncture. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, so I've already got seven of them, so I don't need any more of them. Let's see what else she's got here, just in case. Not that I'm going to use any of these. Oh, I see, cool. Um, a doze charm. <laughs> Um, and a life belt and a shard bolt ring. Yeah, nothing of any. Mm, how much is it? 25? Yeah, but it's only f one to four points. So, what's that going to do? Alright, so, yeah, we'll get like four of these, maybe. Okay, good. Uh, we can get a couple of common ones. Oh, that's a cost. Okay, we don't want to incur a cost. So, let's. Well, a cost of 12 we can deal with, I reckon. Um,. And yeah, we'll we'll sort of go with that because we're unlikely to like unlikely to meet anything that requires these. We'll round that down to ten if you don't mind. And um, yeah, we've got some we got some scrolls, everybody, which I think is a good. What is this about? Trade. Um, all right, let's head over to the council club. Must you insist on standing in the doorways all the time? Um, and ask about the bad people. Even though I don't think that's something I'm going to be doing this episode. I might try it, but I've got to think of a couple of bad jokes. Oh, I think I just thought of a set. Um, <clears throat> what else was I going to say? Yeah, we spent 10 gold there. We got rid of two scrolls that I was never going to use. And a blade that carriage would never use. 
And yeah, we've got a, a bunch of, uh, of, of sodiums. Do you know about the Thieves Guild at all? Join the Thieves Guild? A tortoise sugar. Oh, maybe I should have been asking about that. And where is Sugar Lips? Well, Sugar Lips is right here. No, I'm, uh, well, hang on a minute. Maybe then. See, I don't want to join the Thieves Guild. No. I thought I'd ask you about the um, bad people. Seems not though. Well, it has been pointed us towards the. Oh! If the bad people you're looking for are at the Commoner Tong, they're in Balmora. You'll find them at the Council Club, a corner club. That's the Co Commoner Tong hideout. The scout would be uh, Vandusa Sethrion. Uh, Marissa Aaron will be the pawnbroker. The thief will be Madrali Thirith. Uh, Sovor Tandrel is the savant. Lanian Badas would be the smith. And they're all in there. So there, there. Okay, we got it. Brilliant. Hmm. Do I want to mess with them now? The thing is that this spell here, the uh, hate me spell, the bad joke spell. And then I have to fight them as well. Hmm. I think doing missions for the Legion, Ego the Emperor, makes sense. Because, you know, we're a blade and everything. Um, and Karish is still, like, green. So, you know, very green to all this kind of thing. So, you know, doing favours for the people who he's working for seems to be a very good idea. But I, I forget how this uh, quest pans out. Because I can make them attack me with, of course, the, the bad joke spell. But do you really need... Um, because individually these guys won't be too bad, I think. But there we are, there's, there's all of them. They're all here. But I think you can make them all hostile. And if you've got like an area of effects spell, this is brilliant. Because they all guard around you and then you just like... And just stay here, gone. But we don't. So. Hello friend, I am Thanelin Velas. Welcome to Malmara. If you have questions, I'll be able to answer it. Or I'll try anyway. You want a little advice? Let's have a little advice, I suppose. Stay clear of the commoner tongue. We don't like outsiders. We're just a society of businessmen. We're Dunmer and we're proud. And we try, and we try, we try to see a Morrowind run by outsiders uh, who understand nothing about Morrowind. So we're tired of trying to explain this over and over again to ignorant outlanders. Hmm. Interesting. But you can't talk about bad people, so I'm not really sure how you make them. Or maybe they're all outlanders. So you'd, uh, out, 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 um, uh, outlaws, outlaws. That's it. Um, so all that stuff here. I don't even know what I'm looking for. So, uh, what's Brown and sticky. A stick. A stick. Yeah. Frickin' a head. <laughs> it's a stick. You're brown and sticky. It's a stick. This spell is useless. It's a stick. You know, the stick thing? A stick. Sticky. It's a stick. This spell, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a better spell. This is ah, okay. Um. <laughs> you in? All right, oh no! All right, you just guys don't pay any attention. You will die. Oh, this is suitable. I don't have any magical left, of course, so I'm gonna have to go and restore that. Though there is a shrine in the city that I can use. The only thing is, the only issue is that Karish doesn't know about it. Um, hmm. Oh, he's almost dead. So am I. Oh, 
Let's use this. Ah! You cannot recast the spell. It's what? Oh, right. Oh no! Wish he was almost dead. Get him before the spell runs out. He's stuck. God damn it! If that was a thrust, it would have worked. Ah, oh, one down. One down. Oh, he's got a lot of gold. We can take that. Oh, he's got a Dwemer War Axe. We're going to have to think about that. Okay, that took all of our, all of our magicka to kill one of them. Now, I can, I can just do that five times. And technically, it, it would work. Um, I'm going to use... I'm, go I'm just going to go and use this... this Shrine for all of our sanities. I am going to use this shrine up here. It will cost me twice as much because it's not as good of a shrine. But, um, you know, rather than walking all the way there, all the way back, all the way there, all the way back, I'm just going to. We, we stumbled upon this and we're, we're going to use it. Um, just for the sake of. You know. Yes. If we use this. It will oh, there we go. No, it's actually worked better than it did in the Let's Discuss video. So, yeah. The only thing is, I don't think, I don't think it makes sense for us to the one upstairs, like you know, on his own, kind of fine. You know, we can maybe, maybe kind of get away with that. But I think I'm going to have to have some scrolls for the rest of them because they're all, they're all going to attack me. It doesn't matter whether I use hate me or not. Um, once one of them sees his friend attacking me. They're all going to attack me. So, let's see if we can get anything from here. No, no. Oh, actually. All destruction. I don't, I don't do destruction. No. Nope. Not going to use that rope. I would like to get a magical robe at some point. We'll find one. Let's go back to the Mage's Guild. See if, they, if uh, she's got a decent area of effect scroll, because I reckon that's kind of what we'll need. Or maybe more than one, quite frankly. We could always tell her a good um, joke if we've got one. See, that's on touch. We don't really have any, like, poison bloom or anything like that. Uh, on five feet, there we go. But uh, that's all of my gold. Thankfully, none of them are uh, nods. So that has a damage potential uh, between 50 and 100 if I get two of them for each of them. Um, yeah, I can afford it. And we do have that other quest as well to back it. I'm going to do it, but of course we're going to try and get it for that, which we'll do. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. We are putting our um, efforts towards this, aren't we, Karish? Whether it's a good idea or not, I don't know. We can always divine and division out of there. And we got, we got Scorcher. That's going to do no good at all because they're Dark Elves. Um... So hopefully we'll get some good RNG, <laughs> pretty much. So I mean, I'm just going to go in there and start attacking one of them. Um, doesn't seem like a very carish thing to do. I gotta admit, but otherwise we'd never do this quest. And I'm not really particularly doing it for the ring that you get at the end, because I, I think it's kind of overrated. But. Um, you know, the temple, the, the, the legion's been good to us, and Caius has been good to us, so maybe we, it's some sort of vague feeling of, I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to drop this and use it to pick that up, and we're just going to leave that there for now, because that's a Dwemer War Axe, and kind of, right, keep that around. So, hello, everybody, um, sorry I killed your friend up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to uh, just, just, just 
I grow them somehow. Uh, we're gonna back into this corner. Okay. Yeah, probably. Oh god, he's got a big hammer. Okay. Um. 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 Oh, another one. Okay, good, good. All right, fleshy, 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 fleshy. Actually, 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 actually yeah, 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 fleshy. Okay, taking the beat in there. Amulet. Oh, come on, help, give, give me a break. We don't have any, any, uh, um, we got one. I haven't got one of them yet. Alright, we gotta use something else. <clears throat> the Scorcher won't work. This will just about do enough, I think. Uh oh. We're dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was obviously gonna happen. Hmm. Part of me wants to leave this quest. You know, maybe charm one of them, bring them up here or outside or something, and then... I think that's what we'll do. I mean, this one, fair enough. He was up here. We could kill him relatively... <laughs> like, quietly, I suppose. I don't know. It's really tentative. Um, I'm pretty sure I could do... Th I'll give it one more go. But, um, you know, if we go over here... Hide in this... Uh, down, down here. Oh, God, there's another one. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. For the Emperor, though, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll might need something like, uh, something for 15 seconds, though. Hello. Cushy! Ah, uh, okay, run away. Recall? No, we'll just use... Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't think I'll bother with this now. I think what I'll do is I'll try and charm... Play a bit smarter. And charm one of them out occasionally. And then back in, charm one of them out. So I need to get a charm spell. But of course, I just spent all my money on these scrolls I'm not going to use now. But still be. I guess Karish had... You know, he was thinking, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then... Decided that he wasn't... <laughs> so we'll do the other quest instead. We'll leave that one. I'll wait until... Like, I, I think a charm spell is probably a good idea. Or a command even, sorry. A command is what I meant. And uh, then we can sort of lure them upstairs. That's probably a better way to go to go about it. Um, I mean, those scrolls probably won't be worth a waste of money. We'll use them at some point. That's almost certain. They're a bit more useful than the Scorchers things as well, but, you know, we don't have any money now, but I guess that's not going to be a big deal because we're off to, uh... If I, if, if I do this kind of, like, quickly, and I'm not going to make, a you know, an effort to do it quickly, but pretty much by the end of this mission, this session, we, we should have a nice item anyway. Because I think, I'm just going to say it, that this tomb has an ebony helm at the end of it. I think so. I guess, oh, it might be, might be, might be another quest actually. Might be, it might be a tomb nearby. But anyway, we won't even think about that. Yeah, we, we thought about maybe doing the bad people quest, but we thought, eh, there's four or five of them still in there. There's no way we can, we can man that. So, and and, and Barrow did say, you know, we're not strong enough. We just made it a little easier for ourselves next time. Now I know it makes completely no sense that there is now a body lying in the entrance to that corner club. And there probably will be for quite a while. Um, I get that. I, I don't I completely get that. No. Maybe I should have taken that war axe. I always think about these things afterwards. But it's got blood in it and stuff. Yeah. So... 
Yeah. Some quests are a little bit awkward to do with this character because... Uh, especially if they're not part of a particular guild. To find his motivation for it and everything, you know. Anyways, onwards. We shall put that behind us for now. It's a lesson. So, we'll get to this place over here, and then we'll look at our instructions again. I mean, if I was playing this with, you know, just by myself, I'd be able to do that with this character, because I'd, I'd, I'd just, like, cheese it. I'd jump on a table or something, and only one can attack me, and all that sort of stuff, but... While I have sort of resorted to that stuff kind of before, um, I think that we can admit that that is beyond our character's capabilities for now, and he's going to realise that, and he's going to say, right, well, we'll try and do some other stuff first. The Emperor's will can late, but wait even. But um, I suppose we are quite curious about what present we'd get. And it is, I think we get the Ring of Surrounding. This is a semi-decent ring, but I think it's better to sell. Oh, George, you again. I am not concerned about your love troubles, and you're obviously not concerned enough that you just stood there. What can I do for you, friend? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I'm almost certain I'm going the right way. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I was just going across there so I could be doubly sure. Reckon Cal Gutis. Okay, so we'll check our uh, directions once we reach the entrance to this town. Get back on the path. Me. Hey. I'm almost certain I know which um, tomb it is anyway, but... <clears throat> just off the road, just before the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sydney and north east towards Vivette. So it's south, so... That's where we're off. It's 5pm. Part of the time to go investigating tombs, Karish, but I feel I need to press on. How much gold have we got, actually, now that I've spent it all? 35. Spent it all on two scrolls that I ended up not using. I can't say there isn't a tinge of regret here, but Karish is not the most efficient character, so... And I'm not the most efficient player. Ah, there's a tomb here. Is this it? What's it called? Have a look. Just buy this. Uh, buy this fort that the mods added, which I really like. All right, slow it down a bit. Wonder if, when we've done this quest and return back to Shan, she'll have some spells or something for us. I don't think Karish minds messing with. Uh, Necromancy, other than the fact that it's icky. Well, there's a dead body. It's got a purse on him. Oh boy! It's a ghost. It's an actual. Did we see it or not? Let's go the other way. Yeah. Ah! It is. Oh, it's squishy. Hi, squishy. How are you? Not hostile. 
Not hostile. Hostile. Squishy versus squishy, go! My squishy's better. Just wait. Just you wait. My squishy's better. My squishy is better than that squishy. Just you watch. Riveting, eh? Oh god, there is a ghost. Uh, okay. My squishy was better. Squishy, there's a ghost over there. Squishy, there's a ghost. That is disgusting. This is ghost. Squishy. I have to get you out again, I think. No, what? Oh, because you're a bone walker. That was a less. Yeah, less about uh, less of a bone walker. And there's a skeleton over. Oh, uh, skeleton. Oh god, it's an archer. It's an archer. That's not good. That's not good. We got a shield as well, haven't we? I think we had shield. There it is. Just for the sake of casting them to train my skills up. Get a bit closer. Wow. She's really taking a beating. Get him ready. Ah! Ow! Go on, batter him. We could just levitate down there. Shortcut. We probably will once we've dealt with this guy. Well done, Squishy. Alright, we can have a look at this dude. He has some arrows for us. Sadly, not many. Which is a bit of a shame, but this is our, our first tomb, isn't it? We're going to take them. We will take the book. Hello. It's going to assume you want to attack me. Yeah, I'll go. Squishy! Oh, no, I don't think so. Squishy, why are you attacking it? There you go. Ah! Oh god, I'm stuck. <laughs> well done, Squishy. Well done. Get out of the way, I don't want to touch you. I don't ah, don't come running towards me like that. Don't like it at all. Do not like. Another squishy wannabe. Oh no! No, this isn't good at all. Um, I think. I don't think I, I grabbed some uh, restore strength yet, have I? No! Not by much! Not by much! Get it away! Squishy! Oh god, I need, a, I need a clean after this. God, I have to touch it. I had to touch it. Squishy, kill it. Squishy, kill it. It's touching me. Oh, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me, Squishy. Why can't I cast that? Oh, it's out of chat. Well, uh, okay. Um. Thirty-seven. Not doing a lot much, is it really? There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh god, get the hell away from me! I know you've done really well and everything, but just don't touch me. Don't come near me. Is it gone? Oh god! Ah, look at that! It's there. Ah. <laughs> Gives me the chills. I don't like it. Go away, squishy. Thank you. Oh, we almost died. Save it. Aha! Yeah, this isn't the one with the, uh... 
with the helm. That's nearby here, but isn't that one? We got it. There's also a dagger of the juggernaut. Now, Karish now knows that uh, magical items are worth something, uh, so we'll take it. Uh, some sacks and stuff, but yeah, um, does that have anything in them? There's a chest. Ooh, hello. All right, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll take that. Isn't that is worth quite a bit? Because it's not enchanted, Karish just wouldn't bother. Ah, uh, 32. Take it. Something to uh, read in the next Lex Discuss video. Now, it's a good thing that wasn't a Greater Born worker. Because uh, then our strength would not have restored. As it is, it was a lesser one or a normal one. Uh. Yeah, so, we're fine. No, I don't have to come this way, of course. I could just levitate out again, but... Oh, that's a big axe! I regret it! I regret it! Ow! I really regret it. And squishy's not locked on. Stuck on the door. I wish I could close this again, but they are in the way. Oh, no. Go, Squishy. Oh. I was just about to... Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, a headshot. <laughs> I think it's Squishy. He's so freaking slow. So against archers... The dude suffers. Big time. <laughs> nice. Well, good shot, Karish. Good shot. You know, 20 arrows. That's pretty sweet. Like in that. I'll stop breathing. Just stop breathing. Why would we even need to breathe? I suppose it's just some vague. Um. Well, you no know, silver's freaking worth something. So. It, in daft. Take that. Uh, in fact, we can just upgrade the silver dagger. We'll, we won't even use this iron dagger anymore for our food. We'll eat with a silver dagger. We'll just upgrade with that. No. Nope. So I'm not going to sell that silver dagger. I'm just going to use it for my culinary purposes. You know, cutting purse strings and everything like that. We have an upgrade. Oh, well, there's some... Uh... Ah! I wasn't ready for that. Squishy. Hey, hey, hey. Drink every time I say squishy, everybody. Oh, that'll be a fun drinking game. <laughs> now I've said it, though, I can't really say it anymore. But I've just thought of that. Ow! Freaking ow. Well done. Oh, God, now he's attacking me! <laughs> I'm sorry, Squishy! I'm sorry! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Didn't mean it. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, we're getting quite a good shot, actually. We're getting quite a good shot. And hence, Karish now realises he's going to attack his own summons, and they will attack him. Uh, so, I can't, I'm can't. i going to discount, like... Because there's alchemical ingredients in this food, and all these sort of berries and stuff that are in these sacks are food. So that's why he doesn't take them, because Karish would think well, I won't eat them. But these f fire salts, he'd never eat fire salts or this wax. They're for alchemy, and while Karish doesn't really do alchemy, because you know, um, he does realize that they're worth something to some people, and so he would take them. And there we go. Marvelous. That only restored a little bit there, so it's a bit weird. How much gold have I got? Not, not much. I can't do it again. Still, a little bit to get ourselves home. Alright, we cleared the tomb. Huzzah, hooray, huzzah, huzzah, hooray, huzzah. We could even spend the night in 
Yeah, that's looking pretty inviting over there. And I will return to Shah in this episode, and we'll kind of see what happens. But for now, I shall uh, just beeline it over here. Oh, just, just get rid. Of the <clears throat> I wasn't angry. Magic! <laughs> Are you open? Oddly not. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Oops. Where's the inn? Over there. Alright. Well, we've had a busy day, as always. Although, I think a reasonable day. You know, we killed a person in a pub and then we went through a tomb. That's good for a day's work, I reckon. Hello! Food is good. Beds is awesome. We just have enough for some basic provisions. Very basic. You got, you got mushrooms. Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, wait a minute, though. I can sell you these. I don't know why, and they're absolutely awful prices. I don't think would. I think we're getting a bit more savvy now. So yeah, I'm not gonna... It's not worth it. I'm just gonna back one freaking thing up here and I'm gonna go to bed. Hello, by the way. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, new friend. Pleased to see you again. Uh, share a gift. Yes, new friends and all that. Yes, 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 yes. We know where to go. This is our room. So... Um... We'll have some bread, and we'll have some restore for tea, and a muffin, and then go beds. Good. And then we'll have some bread again, and some more. Well, what's this? Eh, a lot of portion of shadow to drink, and some hound meat, and an egg for breakfast. And then we will. Our, al al our alchemy should be going up because of all this stuff, shouldn't it? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, what's that? Oh, yeah. Still on. Uh, and then we'll, yeah, we'll head back to Balmora. And we'll go up to Shan. And then we'll uh, say hello there. Uh, I don't know what reward we'll get for this. We've got some things to sell as well. Not many. You know, that, that whole... Well, I, I bought those scrolls and yeah, it cost me 400 gold and it probably wasn't worth it. Okay, it wasn't worth it, but it wasn't... It could be worse. It could be worse. They're not completely useless items. If I ever get attacked by bandits or whatever and get surrounded, as long as they're not Nords. Although, is it... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's the first damage. So Nords are immune to that. But everyone else is fair game. I, don't th I think they're the only things that resist it. And Undead. So we'll turn this in. And I think, you know, maybe next time... I could try and get a command spell. It would have to be about level 10, I think. But that would involve having some money, so it depends, I suppose, on what reward we'll get from this. If any. But we're now a tomb robber. Tomb raider, I suppose. Um, not quite of Lara Croft's ilk, really. But... Um, Oh, nice. oh, you know what? I forgot to take a screenshot of the uh, tomb. I can't. Well, I'll do that after off camera. 
Um, I want to do that for the uh, you know, rather than having another one of like this area or Arkin place, we'll get one of the actual tomb. Um, because yeah, we've been we've been tomb raiding, tomb robbing. Our first one, I believe. And now we know what, what a tomb looks like as well. Before they were just kind of like these weird caves and a cliff sort of thing, you know, like these doors. Now we know what they look like. Legitimately. We've been told what a tomb is, we've been told where it is, and then we've, we've you know, so... Go and get it done if you like. So... Can make an educated decision in the future. About if we want to go in one or not. We don't have any souls left to enchant items with. <laughs> nah. I think he would do that though. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to do the sort of like soul charging thing while in combat. I didn't have much of a choice there. I thought I was going to die and I'd rather not have reloaded everything else. You know, you can understand me doing that. But I think that, you know, Karish would have poured all of his resources into making the amulet that he's so... Oh yeah, I'll use it again. Um, dependent on work again. He's like, this thing isn't working, just pour energy into it. Um, but I do want to start making... Um, entire items to sell. And hell, you know, maybe we'll reach the point where we're not getting very good rewards from the Legion, as we did for, you know, as maybe not as good as, as Hell House Sylvania, who paid exceptionally well. And um, we need more resources like a command spell and such, and that is the reason why Karish says, well, right, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna have to make my own money, my own initiative here type thing. I can't just expect to get it from people from doing stuff, so... And that's when we start enchanting items. Which means we have to go looking for monsters to kill, to trap their souls, and then we start becoming more freelance. You know, perhaps a new chapter might start, but again, it depends on our reward here. So if we get like 500 gold, it'd be like, right, well, I'm okay then, for now. Because 500 gold does seem like a lot of money in this game. Because you can rent a bed for 20. Obviously, you can't buy any, um, for 10 even, sorry. You can't buy a house or anything, so it's really hard to gauge, um, like, you know, the expensive items. But the most expensive items that we've been finding are magical robes, and they're about a thousand. So if, if, if you sort of take that as the most expensive item that we can get, that Karish can sort of base the economy on. Um, you know, and a thousand is like, you know, really, really uh, quite expensive. Then... When he has 500, he's thinking, you know what, I'm doing I'm doing pretty well here. I, I can live quite comfortably off this. However, having said that, it doesn't make a lot of sense because the booze is like 50 each. <laughs> so Yeah. But of course it's not it's not booze in actual in the actual game mechanics, it's it's buffs that you take in combat. It's not just a beverage. They could be equated to the bag and fatigue proportions, which are like five gold each. That kind of makes more sense, I suppose. Even though they're not sold in pubs, but... Yeah. Anyway, hello. I got you silly thing. Errand. Yes, ma'am. Very good. I'll just uh, go and take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as promised, I'll answer some questions on the Nervarine cult. Go ahead. First of all, before I forget... Hmm. Should we tell her a joke? We'll read all this, then we'll tell her... No, we'll, we'll, I'll wait, and then... Because I won't forget about the Nerva Recall thing, because that's part of the actual main quest. Um, I wish you could take that, because you know it's a skill book, but... I suppose we could read it while we're waiting for our fatigue to restore, and then I could save it and come back. Ooh, nice. That's what I'll do. So this is uh, book two, I suppose. And then I'll read this. 
Yay. And I'll read that. <laughs> it's got pictures. Um, and a let's read thing. But that was just while our fatigue was restoring so we could cast this spell on her. So we could think of a, go a, a joke. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I just remember the joke I was going to tell her. Um, where's Karishma? Oh, what, what did I call it in the actual thing? Because it's not Karishma in this. What is it called? Karish's wit, that's it. Um, yeah, the, the joke's going to be great. So yeah, I'll, I'll reload that and I'll read it here as we sort of like wait around. Okay. What is... <clears throat> black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, red. It's a penguin rolling down a hill, hitting a wall. Oh, wrong button. Oh, she liked that. <laughs> I work with some terrible people. Um, necromancy? Oh, okay, all right, so she can't tell us anything. I thought that might be a secret thing that I had never seen before, but that's ridiculous, of course I... Of course I... Anyway, I know everything about the game. Ashlander Cult believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to the legend, the prophesied Nerevarin will cast down the false gods uh, of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from no Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashland Ashlanders, who care little for Imperial and Temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Did we also level up there? We did. We leveled up. That joke made us level up. It was that good. Okay, we've also got some notes, but I'll read them at Caius's place. Is it, uh... It's not too long, but I tell you, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll turn the well. We can't turn the quest in, can we? Because he'll take the notes off us, and we'll be able to read them. Yes. So I'm just gonna have to read them at Caius's place. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Why? What else have you got to do exactly? Just curious. Why did they put the well right next to the river? Well, does that make sense? You're just going to get river water. Is that a good thing? Probably. Well, I don't know. Seems pretty clean. There's nothing up river. Yes, there is. There's Caldera. So you're just going to get all their icky stuff in your drinking water. This is most unsanitary. Best not think about it. I guess they didn't in those days anyway, did they, really? Alright. So, we'll read this. What is this? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, so. Where this not as proven? I should do now. I'm going to do my runes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, and that's two. Hmm. Anyway, the Nerevarine cult. This Ashlander uh, religious cult follows prophecies of a Nerevar reborn to honor the ancient promises to the tribes. To re-establish the traditions of the prophet Veloth, to cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, and to drive out the outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, despite imperial and temple repression. Because it is persecuted, it now remains a secret cult, and it is hard to judge how widespread it is among Ashlanders, or whether it has any following outside the Ashlander tribes. The Nerevarine. The Ashlanders firmly believe that Nerevar will return to restore the glories of the ancient Resdayan. Morrowind was called Resdayan before the imperial occupation. The Ashlanders say the great houses and the temple have abandoned the pure teachings of the prophet Veloth, forsaking ancestor worship for the false gods of the tribunal and embracing the uh, comforts of civilization that corrupted the high elves. The temple, on the other hand, venerates a Saint Nerevar, but rejects the discussion notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. Nerevar. Temple honors Saint Nerevar as the greatest uh, Dunmer general, first counselor and companion of Vivek, Amalexia and Sothasil, who united 
the Dunmer houses to destroy the evil, the evil Dwemer, the treacherous House Dagoth and their Western allies at Red Mountain. But the Ashlanders say Naravar promised to honor the ancient spirits and the tribal law, so that he will come, uh, he will again come to honor that promise. To the Ashlanders, this means destroying the false temple and driving the Imperial invaders from the land. The Naravarine prophecies. Dream visions and prophecies are a respected uh, tradition of the Ashlander culture. Their wise women and shamans take careful notes of dreams and visions and pass on the tribe's legacies, a vision and prophecy to their successors. By contrast, the, the temple and the western faiths are suspicious of mysticism and they regard interpretation of dreams and visions as primitive superstition. The most common version of the Nerevarine prophecy is the stranger. The verses are obscure, as are most, prophe most prophecies, but two observations are in order. First, many the less well-informed scholars will assume that the praise journeys far neath moon and star is just a cliche to, to suggest a very long journey, but the Nerevar of legend uh, was known to possess a magical ring called One Clan on a Moon and Star, upon which Nerevar was supposed to have sworn his promise to honour the ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights. Second, the reference to seven curses was certainly referred to the lost uh, prophetic verses known to the Ashlanders as the seven curses. The Stranger. When earth is sundered and skies choked black and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the, to the hearth uh, there comes here comes a stranger journeyed far neath moon and star though stark born to sire uncertain his aspects marks for uh, his certain fate stick a uh, wicked stalk him righteous curse him prophets speak but all deny many trials make manifest the stranger's fate the curse is bane many uh, touchstones try the stranger many fall but one remains the prophecies Ashla Ash <laughs> Auslander elders complain of prophecies which have been lost to tribal memory due to the carelessness or ineptitude of early generations of wise women and their Ashkans and Ashkans. Suspicious scholars wonder whether these prophecies might have been deliberately forgotten or suppressed. Three Nervarine prophecies in particular are said to have been lost. The lost prophecies, the seven curses, and the seven vi and seven visions and seven trails of the incarnate. Perhaps these uh, lost prophecies will someday be found, either in forgotten accounts written by literate travellers, or in the memories of, our, of isolated Ashlanders, or in the secret editions of wise women and shamans. And this, I think, is where the main quest takes us next. Look at all my stuff. These are Shan's notes of the Navarine cult. Excellent. Uh, I'm promoting you to Blaze Apprentice, Karish. Uh, I'd like some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I have new orders for you. Okay, so we won't do that just yet, because I just had the thought for next time. Um, up here, there was the Dwemer thing type of thing going on um, in the egg mine. We know what egg mines are now as well. And... We have yet to visit Shan in Aldrun's Mages Guild, which I think has been mentioned that... No, not Shan, Edwina, sorry, Edwina. Uh, and Edwina is like a, a scholar of Dwemer stuff as well, so we can have a chat with her and see if she knows a bit about our experience of dwarves and stuff. So that might be where uh, we go next. Also, we have a level up, but we'll save that for next time. Um, so we end up with a couple more arrows than we did, so you know we got 100 arrows all together more or less. And um, two scrolls, not much gold though, gotta be said. Um, though we do have this to sell, so that will at least barter us passage to Aldron and then possibly there. So I think next time uh, we might travel to Aldron and we might uh, then visit this egg mine with the Dwemer thing. Because, you know, he says, do you freelance stuff? And that is Karish's hobby. So, that's more or less my vague plan. But I guess we'll find out next time. So, hope you enjoyed that bit of do uh, tomb delving. And until next time, I shall see you. <laughs> Take care. Toodle.